Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so importantly for always tuning in. I really do appreciate. If you're the first time you are coming across us, or you are hearing our voice for the first time, we still remain your one and only, ever ready, bringing it to you, as you all know. So, my wonderful family, without not wasting much of your time, today I just want us to do quick, quick. What we are doing is, the more you look, the less you see. What we're going to do today is to continue the exposition from where we stopped yesterday without wasting of time. Some people say, I have been reading some messages on social media. I have been reading some messages where some people are blabbing, those who have left behind. I want you to understand nobody can scare us. Nobody can threaten us. Nobody can come in between our freedom. We are going to fight this particular freedom of Biafra with a physic. A physic. You know, whenever we do this, know that now, yes, yeah. The more you look, the less you see. We have destroyed the criminals in IPOB. We have destroyed the criminals in IPOB. Going forward, going forward, we will be issuing statements in the name of IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, going forward. If you want to name us or pilot you are free if you want to continue to recognize us as auto pilot you are free but officially we are indigenous people of biafra ipov i want you to understand that some people are really trying to get our attention okay some people are trying to get our attention the date is already 14 to here so for those of you saying I should change date, that is why it is from 13th. Oh, sorry, from um, 13th to 14th. One moment. You will be addressing us officially as the IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra. If you wish, you will add autopilot. It is no longer necessary. Am I clear? Indigenous people of Biafra. We are the indigenous people of Biafra. IPOB. If you like, you add it autopilot. You know, um, some people say that um, <laughs> I want you to understand that they are no longer, they are, you know, we, 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 we chase these criminals away as far back as February 28. 2022, February 28. Every autopilot today is hereby declared Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB. Officially. Use it anywhere, use it anyhow, and let nobody tell you that you are autopilot. Okay? Autopilot is going to be a nickname we will be answering and all that. Your name is IPOB are indigenous people of Biafra. Tell anybody who feel threatened by this declaration today to go to anywhere and challenge us. Having said that, like you know, I don't want to dwell in um, in uh, you know to start uh, recognizing inconsequential people. Now you can now believe. You are now going to, your, your, your eyes are clear now that they are not in control of anything. Finally, you are now, you know, you can, you, can, you can see the picture very clear. They are not in control of anything in Biafra land. Nobody listening to them. ESN is intact. Under Mazinam Dikano, 
The reason we are not going to be taking order from Azina Bikano is that whatever we do, he will not be held responsible. As the Biafra liberation have started. So I want you to understand that we are the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB. If you want, you will add autopilot. From today, I want you to understand. There is something I want to say today. It is a pity. It is a pity that uh, the relative of our leader chose the wrong path. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart that Canon Takano, Emmanuel Kano, and all the relatives of our leader, even if whatever they have done, it breaks my heart. I didn't see this day coming. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart that they were deceived. It breaks my heart that Canon Takano, apart from the fact that he knew our leader was kidnapped and he concealed it, he was deceived. It breaks my heart that the siblings of our leader didn't see today. They didn't see how genuine Simon Epa is. They didn't see the loyalty of Simon Epa to Mazin Namdekan. It breaks my heart. And they went over the red line, crossed it. They used them to do all manner of things against me. After they have succeeded in using them against me, today they are fighting them. They are fighting the siblings of Mazin Namdekan. It's heartbreaking. One thing about me is that I have human heart. It breaks my heart that Kano Takano didn't see today. It breaks my heart that Emmanuel Kano didn't see today. It breaks my heart that all those ones in Germany could not see today. And they deceive them to fight the person that could have salvaged their image if they were pure, if their hands were clean. It breaks my heart. But that's not why I'm here. This comment I have made today, let whoever that I have mentioned here go and check himself. It breaks my heart. Because I remember when I was talking with Kano Takano. I remember when the first message came from our leader. I remember how Kano Takano was uh, searching for my number everywhere. I remember how Kano Takano talked with me. At the end of the day, he was deceived. I remember how Emmanuel Okano contacted me. At the end of the day, he was deceived. Because they are not pure. They were looking for something else than following the, the legacy of their own brother. It pains me. I am telling you, it pains me. Because if these people have consulted Oracle, all those native doctors they are going to, if they have actually consulted native doctors and Oracle to ask about Simon Epa, they wouldn't have gone that wrong way. But they chose, I don't know what they choose. Today, they are fighting each other. All of them. If you ask Kanon Takano now, what did Simon Epa do to you? He will have nothing to say. That is nothing. Because the highest thing Kanon Takano will say is that my platform was used. 
There is nothing Canon Takano will say today that this is what Simon Epa has done to him. The same thing goes to Mane Kano. If you ask him today, what has Simon Epa done to you? He will say nothing because there is nothing, absolutely nothing. The next, the highest thing they will say is that his platform, your platform were used. I am not saying this for, for them to come to me. No. But I am saying this so that other people watching that have observed this whole struggle, see the kidnap of our leader, will know what has gone wrong. It breaks my heart that the family could not know who is their enemy and who is not their enemy. Today, it is clear. Continue for the last one year, for the past one year, they continue to tell you Simon Ekpa is not a member of IPOB. For the past one year, they tell you Simon e Nigeria government pays Simon Ekpa money. The same people telling you that Nigeria government pays Simon Ekpa money is calling Nigeria government to hold Simon Ekpa responsible. They are calling the international community to hold Simon Ekpa responsible. The exact thing Simon Ekpa is doing today is what Mazin Namdi can have done. That is the reason why they sold him in Kenya. They collect money and so until you see them accusing somebody is what they have done so today the way Simon Ekpa is going for this Biafra struggle to them Simon Ekpa is committing crime that is the exact thing they have done to Mazin Namdekano they pretend to be working with him and they sold him in Kenya they told the Nigeria government that he was in Kenya and as that is not enough those who are not well sound in their mind has become victim of conspiracy. People like Kanon Takano has become the victim of conspiracy. And there is nothing you can do about it. For him to have said, don't tell, for him to have told the secretary, do not tell anybody, means he has become a victim of the conspiracy. Whether his hand is clean or not, it doesn't matter because that particular opinion is questionable. Even though, they will blame by you know that uh, he he did it because he don't want people to know that is not reasonable enough. They chose their enemy. They chose to work with the enemy of Mazin Namdekano. And when you listen to that one in, in Germany, attacking me, blackmailing me, Simon Epa, eh? Simon Epa want to hijack Mazin Namdekano uh, IPOB. Simon Epa want to take over Mazin Namdekano. Simon Epa plan coup. Look at them today. Upon all the coup, Simon Epa, according to him, is planning. Look at what they have done to them. And these are the people who come on social media to tell you they are, they are prophets. They, they see tomorrow, they see next tomorrow, they see next year. They couldn't see this one coming. But they see everything. There's, they prophesy um, um, uh, Donald Trump is going to be the president of America. They couldn't see oh, Bibia, Dr. Nagondozo. They couldn't see what these criminals have done. First of all, they embrace them. Oh, you are the brother of our leader, our leader. And they have used you to blackmail Simon Epa. After they use you to blackmail Simon Epa, now you are not with them. They have, after that coup, you have been saying, oh, they are planning coup. I guess Mazin the Karo. The coup have actually happened. The only good thing is that, the good news is that the struggle and the IPOB of Mazin the Karo is intact under autopilot, as you may call them. Under autopilot. This is where. The structure of and the store of Mazin Namdekano is in. We have the entire Eastern Security Network under autopilot Mazin Namdekano. That is the fact. So this cry you see them crying today is a confirmation that they have nothing to offer. Now they are telling you if Mazin Namdekano commits crime, hold him as responsible because they don't have anybody again. They know the capacity. They know what we can do now. They know our strength, literally. They know. They know what we can do. They know we control the entire Biafra. They know every group in, in Biafra is under our control. And they have seen that the threat is real. So they are raising alarm. <laughs> and they will, they will tell you tomorrow, tell us the ESN Simon Epa is in charge. Tell us the ESN Simon Epa is controlling. They will organize. You know, I told you people yesterday, when I was exposing that uh, criminal as he ordered the killing of the Kosovo family, I told the people that you are going to see how they will come out. They went under their criminal anonymous that have actually destroyed their fraudulent businesses. They went and started writing. 
Oh, Simon Ekpa will be deported. Simon Ekpa will be arrested. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chai! It is horrible. Illiteracy is a disease. Simon Ekpa will be deported. We have provided evidence to Finland. We have provided evidence. I don't know how long we are going to write Finland. You don't know that Nigeria have embassy. Are you more effective? Are you more active than the Nigeria embassy that is in Finland and supervising Finland? You are the one now walking the walk of embassy, Nigeria embassy. Let the Nigeria embassy come to Finland and they arrest Simon and the illiterate, all these illiterate, they buy the charge card for them and they share them and say, oh, start sharing it. Start sharing it. Share it. They want to arrest Simon Epa. They want to deport Simon Epa. Hey! And they are sharing it. They are sharing it. We have supplied evidences of Simon Epa. <laughs> we have supplied evidences of are you the embassy? Give your, in fact, send money to Nigeria embassy. Let them work to arrest Simon Ekpa. If Simon Ekpa is committing crime, <laughs> okay? You don't know that embassy have a job to do. Let them come to Finland and they carry Simon Ekpa. I told you people, I will be your last bus stop. Next year, since you people don't want to give us Biafra by referendum, we will declare war and declare Biafra. I am telling you today, go and mark it. After that, you can write to UN, you can write to America, you can write to Israel, you can write to Germany, you can write to any, any place you want. Let them come and arrest Simon Epa. For the past one year, these criminals have been saying, very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon. How long is your soon? Is it when, uh, after you sleep and wake up in Biafra, you are going to, your soon is going to come? When is that soon coming? For the past one year, very soon, they want to expose Simon Ekpa. How long is your very soon? Is your very soon going to take you another two years? Every day, very soon, very soon, very soon. Only The only thing they want to achieve is to deceive some people who cannot think by themselves. They are calling it a national community. Even this Kano Takano. Kano Takano well, you know, went as far as writing, tagging Finland, tagging UN. Simon Ekpa killed um, um, uh, FRCN, whatever, rape safety of he says, oh, I'm an boys. Every crime in Biafra, it is an Ekpa boys. Have you seen me responding to them? I don't respond to fools. I don't respond to idiots. That is to show you that you are nobody. You are nobody. If Simon Ekpa is the one that is doing all these things, why are you not respecting me? Is it easy? If Simon Ekpa is the one that is creating all the chaos in Nigeria, why are you not respecting me? You should respect me that somebody like this is creating chaos in Nigeria. And you are there talking rubbish. Respect me. You accorded me with all the chaos in Nigeria, all the insecurity in Nigeria in Simon Epa. Respect me for that. Can you create insecurity? You can't. Yet you come and say, I am nobody. I am nobody. You say they pay me $2.7 million. I am nobody. You say Nigeria government paid me $2.7 million. The same you is calling the Nigeria government to deport me. How can you be calling the people that are paying me to destroy the struggle to come and carry me? Are you stupid? You say they pay me money. Nigeria government to pay me to destroy the struggle. At the same time, you are calling the Nigeria government to deport me, to come and kidnap me. Like, they, like you arranged the kidnap of Mazin Ambikan. Does it make sense? I am your last bus stop. I am your... Okay. Will be will be getting bigger in his head. All that you see until he will die off completely. And let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you, he will be he will be getting bigger in the head. Maka enyegi otapi apia. No tia. Oh yeah, ne ne. Enyegi oh yeah. Amamu mo. Ima le kulum dara de. Oh the enyegi abu eche teka. Otapi apia. The one they call eche teka. Tomorrow is far. <laughs> Go and ask question. What is eche teka? That one. That is what they gave him. So all the business business. I will crack this joke for the next 10 minutes before I start my, my exposition of today. Tell them to go and write Finland. Tell them to go and tell them to write Finland. That Simon Ekpa is agitating for freedom of his people. So all the crime in Nigeria, he is the one committing it. All the killing and the kidnapping of Fulani, Simon Ekpa is causing it because he is saying that Biafra will be liberated by 2023. Write Finland, write you, and if you don't have material, come, let me give you material. Let me give you a material of all the people that they have killed. Put it under the name of Simon Epa and submit. 
I want you to understand that these are the people you must not listen to. They are gone completely. They are gone. The reason why I'm making this particular statement today is just, <laughs> you know, for some people who do not understand. I want them to understand that Ian Akurumegua, they don't know. This music I am dancing, what you don't know is bigger than you. I came to this Biafra struggle prepared. Prepared. I have been saying it every day. I don't know. I have told you people, you, you have done all the juju in this life, all the sacrifices with cows, everything. Simon Epa is still standing in the band. You have done a baby, you have tied baby on social media, you have threatened Simon Epa with knife on live video. There is nothing you have not done. Simon Epa is still waxing stronger and giddy back. And I have not even started. You have not seen my best. My best will come. When Biafra finally go to war, you will see how we are going to defeat them. That is when you are going to know who Simon Epa is. Now we are still making mouth on social media. We are still preaching. So please, any place you see these criminals, that Sodomas in Namdekano give them opportunity to write to anywhere they want to write in the world. For the past one year, they have been writing Finland government. For the past one, I don't know whether all these criminals are better than Nigeria government. You can imagine, you can imagine on entities shouting on radio, on radio of, of 400 people listening to them. They are shouting on radio. Oh, Simon Empire. Oh, anything happened, they are calling. No international community is listening to these idiots. They say, we are calling on international community. Which international community listen to you? Nobody listen to them. They are calling an international community. Oh, if something, if someone can commit crime in, the, in uh, Nigeria, hold him responsible. Who are you talking to? No international community listen to idiot like you. Fraudulent people. I have not even started. Wait. We are going to buy jet to fight Nigeria. Jet. It is. I just. I just pray that you wouldn't go to that land. But when we are going to, if it is what is going to, we are going to, we will buy a military jet to fight Nigeria for our freedom. Go on, go on, mark my, mark my word today. So you think we are scared of anybody? I am not scared of anybody. Even if President Putin come here and stand and say, why are you doing this? I will tell him why I'm doing it. I am not scared of anybody, not a human being. The only person that I'm scared of in Biafra is God and myself. I have said this thing several times. So right to Finland, right to anywhere, in what we are fighting is the freedom of my people. Right to heaven, tell God to come down that Simon Epa is committing crime for fighting for freedom and to defend the vulnerable women and children. Right to President, uh, what is his name again? Boris Johnson have resigned now. Uh, right to Queen Elizabeth. Tell him Queen Elizabeth that Simon Epa is coming. Simon Epa is going. Simon Epa is a scam. Simon Epa is Elizabeth. Simon Epa is a Boris Johnson. Sir, is this and that. Right. I am here. You will write it to that bring us to the end of this update do where to like the video share and subscribe thank you very much for always tuning in i really do appreciate share the video and tell your friends about this platform because the best thing or the best place for you to be is here turn on the bell icon so that whenever i drop a new buzz boost like this you'll be the first to notify thank you once again and remain blessed